Hello, my friends. I'd like to tell you the little story about Rusty, my second toddler doll. Well, really my third. Saucy was my first. But anyways, um, Rusty had another mommy, uh, my aunt. We lived in Hawaii. And when I started to uh, paint dolls, gosh, it was back in 1986, before they had reborn, before they had reborn paints, before there was Genesis paints. It was, um, we, uh, we had some other artists, and I was not alone, that tried to paint these factory dolls to make them look very real. Now I had bought a doll from Singapore that was very realistic. My daughter wanted another baby, we were not ready for another baby to give her a sibling or anything. She ended up being an only child. But uh, I had bought this realistic looking doll and it looked dead. So what I did is I painted it up. I first used makeup and that would wash off right away. Then I found a lady online. Uh, this was even before YouTube. And she used to use uh, rubber stamp ink pads, which would stain the vinyl and it would last a little longer. Rusty is from that era, okay? Um, I had made a little girl that looked just like Rusty. It's a little girl named Sharon, uh, after my girlfriend who had red hair, and I really enjoyed her. And when my aunt came over and seen her, she could not put her down. She giggled like a little schoolgirl. She had so much fun with her, and she looked so real, she said. So she asked me, can you make me one? And can you make me a little boy? I would love a little boy. So I did. I, I bought the kid again, and we did the same painting and everything. We took him to the store. She bought him overhauls and a long sleeve choo-choo train um, onesie. And then we bought little tennis shoes. He had a little cap. Uh, she just went all out uh, getting this outfit for him. She would take him to her girlfriend's houses, and the girlfriends always thought he, looked, he was a real child that she was carrying in her arms. And they would all laugh and giggle about it. She would take him to the store. She just loved the people's reactions. She would laugh so much. She was just so happy when she was around Rusty. And then uh, later on that year, after the holidays, she took a spill in the house. She fell broke her hip and while she was in rehab she did have a history of heart problems she had some heart stents and things like that she was in her 70s and uh, she had uh, right after New Year's Eve she had a, a, a heart attack massive heart attack and passed away we lost her then I was just totally devastated and the only thing I could think of after we left the hospital was to go right over to her house, pick up Rusty, and bring him back home to me. So I have been taking care of him and loving it ever since then. So here's some, some pictures of my auntie, who I used to call mom. She was my best friend. We had so much fun together. So I really miss her. But, uh, Rusty helps me keep her, keep connected with her. Here's the original outfit she bought for him. So as you can see, he's, I think he's pretty cute. I don't know. I might be biased. But anyways, enjoy the video, and that's Rusty's little story.